In this video today, I want to talk about the most underrated node and the Godot engine that you can use in every single game out there, which requires almost no effort from us as developers and results in some awesome effects. The World Environment node. This especially applies to 2D games because we as 2D developers tend to live under a rock and fight over rotated pixel art assets. So in this video, I want to cover what the node does, how to use it in your game, and if you pay extra attention, I'll even throw in a couple of fun Godot tips at the end of the video. Getting this node to work its magic is as easy as adding a new world environment node to the scene, setting its environment resource, and changing the background mode to canvas for 2D games. Now we can start messing around with the colors. Now all of these tabs are available to 3D games, but only tone map, auto exposure, glow, and adjustments work in 2D. Adjustments is self-explanatory, but glow is pretty interesting. What it does, it takes the brightest pixels on the screen and makes them emit light. How bright these pixels need to be to glow is determined by the HDR threshold, and how powerful the effect is overall is affected by the blend mode. 90% of the time you want to change the default soft white blend mode to the screen blend mode. We can change the range of this glow by turning glow levels on and off and level 1 is an intense short range type of glow and level 7 is a subtle long range glow. We can combine these levels to come up with interesting glow patterns. The final thing we can do in the adjustments tab is color correction which can give us some wild effects. If we add a gradient to it, it will modulate the pixel color depending on its original brightness. Look at the radioactive butterfly! Another thing we can do with the world environment node is simulate our eyes getting used to a light source. In this demo you can see the scene outside the cave has a glow effect when it's only partially seen, but when it covers most of the screen the glow effect disappears, darkening the cave scene. The same scene is pretty boring without the world environment node. This is achieved by having a powerful glow effect and turning on auto exposure, which analyzes the range of brightness present in the scene and automatically adjusts the contrast to make the darkest and the brightest areas more visible. Pretty cool for just one node and zero lines of code, huh? Now I'm by no means an expert on using world environments, but there's even more things you can do with them in 3D games. Now if you're looking to improve the look of your game beyond the world environment node, shaders are a good next step. For example, I took a simple god ray shader from this website and turned it into the disco lights in my game. And and plugging the shaders into your game is often as easy as copy pasting some code. That's it for today. Did you find Penguin Shark hiding somewhere in this video? He's pretty scared of the light.